So we get a lot of questions. A lot of these videos we're doing, we get a lot of questions from our customers. How do I do this? How do I do that? Got a bunch of videos on how do I print on a black t-shirt or cotton t-shirt. So uh, we decided to show people how to print on light color, polyester shirts. You can do this on white. You can do this on a, a pastel color, light gray, something like that. So uh, what we're getting ready to show you is the steps you got to take that are slightly different than what you would do with cotton and uh, to produce a beautiful 100% polyester performance shirt just like this on your DTG G4. So let's show you how we printed the, the polyester shirt. This is a Porton Company performance shirt right here. Got this off Coleman & Company. We'll, we'll have some details on the, the video showing you where we got it. We get a lot of questions about it. And sort of like when we did a hoodie earlier in one of our videos, a lot of the stuff's the same, the cure times are the same, the way you print's the same. Dealing with the pretreatment is gonna be a bit different. So one of the things we wanna start out with is these shirts are fairly open spread and a very, very good fiber openings weave to them, so to speak. We have to make sure we're bridging, a good, getting a good bridge of pretreat on here. So we're gonna actually put a little bit more pretreat onto this than we would onto a cotton t-shirt, which seems kind of crazy, right? So we're gonna get this all loaded up in here. And I turn this down to about 45 to 50 on my pretreatment machine. And whereas we're usually up in the, maybe the 60, 70 range, in a lot of cases when we're doing just a white cotton shirt, because we want to get enough pretreat on here that it's actually sealing the surface up. You're going to get a beautiful print out of this, however. Right. Go ahead and throw this on the, once again, same as we would for a cotton shirt or anything else. Throw it onto the press. We're going to dry the pretreat. All right, it's dried now. Again, 45 seconds, 345. Now, gonna be a little different. If this was a cotton t-shirt, we would do this, right? And it would draw down. However, because of the nature of this, this fiber, if we do this, we're actually gonna draw the ink all the way through the shirt. And when you press it, it's gonna actually imprint onto the back of the shirt as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the back of the shirt out of play. We're actually gonna split this wide open, all right? pull it over and it's still going to hold the shirt down all right but we're just we're just dealing with one layer here if you if you get into a polyester shirts that even doing this you're getting too much bleed through to the back side what you may want to do is actually put a either a piece of cotton t-shirt underneath here or some paper or something like that so that the imprint goes onto there all right we've got it all loaded up we're gonna go ahead and send it over from the computer it's a 24 cent print get it showing up there so that means I hit the load button it's going to take it in going to print it right up for us. 15. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pull this off. And I'm going to do the same thing over on the heat press that we did when we printed it. I'm going to actually take this shirt, I'm going to split it, pull it up onto the heat press. That way I'm not pushing that ink through the shirt. Now, you're asking, why do you have to do that? Well, these are performance shirts. They're meant to wick moisture. So it is going to go through the shirt because that's what wicking shirts do. They don't absorb the moisture, they pass the moisture through. So we've got it split like that so we don't have to worry about any ink transfer onto the back of the shirt. Once again, pressing it 45 seconds at 345 degrees. All right, there we have it. This is a $4.10 shirt. Um, they, they come in, I think there's like 15 different colors and they, they have everything from extra small up to 4XL. The, the standard size is from sm extra small up to XL or like 410. Uh, when you get up to the larger ones like the 4XLs, I think they go to a little bit over $7 for those. Um, we had about 25 cents worth of ink on this shirt, but it's a full performance shirt printed straight on our DTG, just a little bit more pre-treat than we normally would use because we want to make sure we bridge and get this ink to stay up on top. We split the shirt when we printed it. We split the shirt and went around the heat press as well so we don't get any ink transfer through the shirt onto the back of the shirt because that's what that, these shirts do. And uh, got a really nice, comfortable shirt, something to work out in. This, you know, I think these would be a great opportunity if you were gonna do like, like shirts for Relay for Life or people who wanted shirts if they're running a marathon in a group or something like that. Uh, the, the Susan G. Komen three days, something like that. You want a performance shirt. You don't print on a cotton shirt and have somebody go out and you know try to run a a 5K on a hot summer day, right? You want a performance shirt, you can offer them a performance shirt, give them an upcharge of maybe $5 extra over what you would for a cotton shirt, and give them a really nice shirt, it's gonna last, it's not gonna fade, it's just gonna wash beautifully. 
Just another great way to make money with your DTG G4. I'm Don Copeland, and I'm out.